Bracketology presented by Dave Candles, Texas Football, breaking down the 2021 UIL Texas High School Football Playoff Brackets. I'm Greg Tepper. This is 3A Division II. You may be thinking that we know who's going to meet here and here. You may be thinking that, and maybe you're right. But I'm here to tell you that Texas high school football has a knack for being unpredictable, a knack for throwing you a curveball, and that's why we're going to break down every single one of these regions, because I think that there are potential state champions in every one of them. Let's start in Region 1. Region 1 is going to be fun, and, and specifically just look at all the District 3 versus 4 matchups. Abernathy and Friona, very good. Canadian and Idaloo, are you serious? First round of the playoffs? It's going to be unbelievable. Childress and Stanton, I think, could be big-time upset potential if Stanton can figure things out on the offensive side. And then Lubbock Roosevelt, undefeated, taking on a Spearman team that is upset-minded. That is going to be a lot of fun. And I think that you're going to start to sort out exactly the quality and what the Region 1 is going to look like with those matchups. Elsewhere, outside of them, I like what Sonora brings. I like what Crane brings to the table. Those are teams to keep an eye on. Maybe Alpine is a sleeper out of far west Texas. But for now, it feels like we've been been waiting for District 3 versus District 4, and we're going to get it finally in this first round of the playoffs. It's going to kind of set the tone for what Region 1 looks like. Let's go on to Region 2. And this is where one of those teams that you may be able to pencil into AT&T Stadium lives, and that would be the Gunner Tigers. Uh, Coach Jake Fazell's squad has been steady as she goes. Quarterback Hutt Graham is in complete command of this offense. They've suffered a couple of injuries here and there, but overall they are feeling very good and look like the favorite out of Region 2. Uh, you know, elsewhere, I think Palmer is maybe a team to keep an eye on as a potential spoiler. Callisburg, I like what they bring to the table. Keep an eye on them. Top half, top half of the bracket's interesting. Holiday is a team that has undefeated, has plugged along, looks very good. Uh, can they translate that into the playoffs, especially with a team like Eastland? Uh, you know, they lose Baron Morton, and yet they come back and they win another district title outright. This team, this bracket, uh, again, all eyes are going to be on here. But there's quality everywhere else, and it could make the road a little bit difficult for the Mighty Tigers. Over to Region 3 we go. Region 3, I think if you like speed and you like teams that are going to have team speed on the defensive side, you're in for a treat. Because West Rusk, about as fast as they come. Same with Dangerfield. They can fly around. Elysian Fields has been very good this year. Wascom is very dangerous. Maybe my pick to win Region 3, just the way that they run the ball. The people out in East Texas are talking about this Wascom team the same way they talked about that 2015 Wascom team, which of course won a state championship. Paul Pugh is a team to keep an eye on as well. I love this Newton team. I think they're flying under the radar, which is exactly what Coach Johnston once. I think they're going to be dangerous. And then keep an eye on ARP. That's a team to certainly keep an eye on. Speed, speed, speed is the name of the game in Region 3, and especially defensive team speed. That's ultimately going to dictate who makes it to the state semifinal. On to Region 4 we go, where the other team that you may be able to pencil into AT&T Stadium lives, and that's right up here. The district champions of District 13, Franklin, they've been wire to wire number one in our 3A Division II rankings, and there's no reason to move them. Plain and simple, they've looked every bit as dominant as you want from the number one team. Who's their chief challengers? Maybe it's a team like Van Vleck. A Van Vleck team that I think has been very dangerous this year, flying under people's radar. I like what they bring to the table. Poth is a team that plays hard-nosed, gritty defense, and they run the ball pretty well. Keep an eye on the Pirates. East Bernard suffered a bit of a baffling Week 11 loss. Can they bounce back? They will need to against a dangerous Lexington team. Tasty first-round matchup there. Unbeaten Odom, the 10-0 Owls are flying into the playoffs. I think they might be the favorite down here, although Rogers and Tidehaven, another really tasty first-round matchup. This whole region feels like, again, we're going to be Focus on who Franklin plays every week, but the path around Franklin, kind of uh, what revolves around them, is going to be just as interesting. So look, if you want to just pencil in and you want you think you've got it figured out, that's just going to be Gunner versus Franklin rather in the state championship. You might be right. In fact, that's probably what I'm predicting right now. But Texas high school football has a way of surprising you, and we're only one upset away from this whole bracket being turned upside down. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll have you covered every step of the way at TexasFootball.com. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.